Hi oh, YouTube, Fuzz here, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy and as we continue on with some optional content today I'm going to be showing you something you can do, a little trick to gain a whole bunch of experience for your party and your mirages and I'm talking like 45,000 experience so it does require a little bit of luck but you can just reload until you get it right so in order to do this we're going to head over first of all to Ninewood Hills because we just need to go shopping let's get started Make your way over to the North Promenade and you can just use the square button to access the fast travel menu if need be. And we're going to speak to Chocolate here. And the item we want to purchase is the Flash Bomb. Now they're 600 gil each but by this point in the game, and this is the earliest we can do this which is during Chapter 5 here. Uh, which is still very early in the game, only about 3 hours in. So this is a great thing to do at this particular point. So we should be able to purchase a few but we don't want to go too mad. I'd recommend four at the most, but you should be able to get away with just doing three. So I'm going to purchase three, and then we'll see how we get on with that. And then what we're going to do is make our way over to Cornelia, because that's where this particular optional boss resides. Now, the boss in question, or the fight in question, is not one we can kill normally. As you can probably tell by the XP amount, uh, this is something that we're not supposed to be fighting until much later. But there is a special way we can get it into Prism Tunity, which is something we can do now, and that will give us the full amount of experience. So we don't have to end this fight by killing the thing, the enemy. We can literally just imprison it for the same result. As well, of course, as actually getting a new Mirage as well. So you will need the pri uh, Princess Goblin Memento, which you will get for completing... The uh, two intervention quests, the girl who forgot her name and where art thou smoochy poo. So I've got videos on each of those in the playlist just before this video. So go and check those out if need be. That's the only prerequisite required in order to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and save here and let's see how we get on. Nicely saved up. Then we're going to actually exit the town and we'll find the princess goblin just on the outskirts. So I'm not actually going to save my game once successfully doing this and the reason for that is mainly because I don't want to trivialise uh, many of the encounters that come after this for the next part of the game since I am trying to, you know, give strategies and that and help people and not everyone's going to want to do this. But I still want to show you how to do it and then it's up to you whether or not you want to take advantage of this or not. One downside by the way to doing this and getting all this experience is some of the mirages in the next area can be a little bit difficult to imprison because you're going to find yourself one-shotting them as opposed to actually being able to uh, just whittle their health down or do whatever it is you need to do without killing them so you can imprison them. So bear that in mind, uh, but it's not a big problem. You can still imprison everything. Just have to use other mirages or whatever the case may be. So I highly recommend unstacking everybody to start with. That way you've got cannon fodder for the battle. And you might want to throw Phoenix down on the team before you actually go for the Imprism, since if you don't, then those that are dead will not be able to share in the experience at the end, unfortunately. And all you have to do is cast Flash Bombs, hopefully uh, not too many, and you'll get the Imprison Tunity animation thing going, whatever it's called. So one or two Flash Bombs, or three, if you purchase three. If you don't get it after that, you'll just have to reload your save and try again. So once you've got Imprison Tunity, just get everybody imprisoning, basically. Well, Rain or Lan. And hopefully it won't take too many attempts. So let's have a go here. Ah, it looks like first attempt. Very nice. And that's literally all there is to it. And on top of the experience, we also get the Princess Goblin as a Mirage as well. So we can bring her into battle. She's a medium-sized Mirage, and look at all this lovely experience. I did forget to use that Phoenix down, so Sylph, unfortunately, won't be getting any experience. But hey, that's absolutely fine. Rain and Lan are the main ones, mainly because um, we're switching Mirages out all the time anyway. And yeah, look, the levels just keep on going. So, as I say, I won't be saving my game at this point, so the next time you watch another video of mine in this series... Rain and Lana will be back at their previous levels, level 10 or whatever it was. But I know many of you will want to use this little trick, and that's absolutely fine. That's why I wanted to show it to you. And there we have it. Lots of lovely experience there. 
And of course we'll get to take a quick sneak peek at our new Mirage here. So I'm just going to keep everything set to the default. I guess we can uh, have a play about with this one though. So I'm going to take it with me I think. And then we'll send one of the other ones to be back with Seraphie since we've got a full quota at this particular moment. Perhaps the Red Captain since it's also a Goblin. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. So that's this little tip. That was a lot of fun. And you can't repeat it, unfortunately. So long. But you've got a huge amount of experience just from doing it once anyway, so you probably wouldn't need to. Alright then, guys. Well, I'm going to finish off here. Just make sure if you are um, planning on doing this that you do head back and save should anything happen. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.